What's up guys, one Koala Man here bringing you episode number 21 of our fairy tale reviews. And this episode we get introduced to a host of people and a new guild. So I am happy this is the second guild we've been introduced to. So if you enjoyed today's episode, be sure to hit that like button down below. Hit subscribe so you can be a part of this amazing channel. Not trying to brag or anything. <laughs> But anyways, share it to everybody you know. Make sure everybody knows the name One Koala Man. Make sure everybody knows about that. And be sure to follow me on Twitter and answer the question of the day, both which will be in the description down below. So without further ado, let's get this mother on the way. So we start today's episode off in the town of Magnolia and Lucy is bickering with the squad because she went on a job by herself or she wanted to go on a job by herself. And the squad ended up going with her, and she's saying, you know, I could have done this by myself. And they're saying, well, you know what, we're the strongest team, so we always gotta stick together as the strongest team. So I guess that makes sense. And so they're walking around town, and, like, people, like, uh, citizens of the town are just saying, is that the fairy tale guild? And everybody's like, like, well, the squad's like, what are they looking at? Why are they all staring at us? And they see the guild, and the guild hall is F up like there are giant like steel beams like um poking out of the guild hall like someone like a construction accident gone horribly wrong and everybody like what the heck just happened and mira is saying that the phantom the phantom guild is the one like in charge of this and nasu gets super heated <laughs> no pun intended and they go into the basement where everybody's, you know, in refuge or refu refugeeing. Everybody's hiding out there because, you know, the guild hall is all effed up. So they're in the basement of the guild hall. And <laughs> Makarov is like drunk off his mind. And <laughs> he, uh, like, Nasu really wants to go to the Phantom Lord Guild and show them what's up. And Makarov's saying, Nobody's going there, and he spanks Lucy. <laughs> and she's like, uh, so why did you have to spank me? <laughs> yeah, that was so funny. And then Makarov gets off, you know, his uh, the bar stool or whatever, and he goes do his own thing, and Mira says, look, this is affecting Makarov as much as it's affecting Natsu and everybody else in the guild. We just don't know what to do at this point. So now we're at nighttime, and Lucy is walking around with my boy Plu, and they're walking like near the edge of the like canal, I guess, and like this boat saying, "Hey, you better watch out, you might fall in there or something." And they do this every episode that Lucy goes on the the walk or whatever. Like every time there's someone on a boat saying, "Lucy, you're gonna fall," and I just noticed that like like all the time that happens. But anyways, she's talking with Plu, and she almost joined. It the Phantom Lord Guild back when, um, like before she met Natsu because apparently they're just as crazy as Fairy Tale is. So she would have been part of Phantom Lord, so that's pretty, uh, pretty interesting. And she goes home and the squad is there and <laughs> the squad is just sitting in there and they're saying that Mira said it was like a good idea to have everybody, you know, group up because, you know, strength in numbers pretty much. And so... <laughs> They're all taking the make yourself at home way too far. Like they're checking, like Happy's checking out Lucy's underwear along with Urza. Uh, Gray's trying to read uh, the novel that Lucy's writing and all that good stuff. And then soon they talk about the Phantom Lord and the fairy tale rivalry. And like they just talk about they've had a few scuffles in the past. And as this is going on, Team Shadow Gear, which is Levy. Uh, Jet and Droy is walking along doing their own thing and then they get ambushed by some guy with piercings probably from the Phantom Lord Guild and so they just get attacked by um, by this mystery guy so now we're going back to the squad talking and they talk about um, Makarov being one of the ten wizard saints and what the ten wizard saints is it's like a prestigious you know calling for um, like a prestigious uh, position of power for, you know, 10 people on the entire continent. That would be like the 10 strongest people in the entire North American continent, right? 
North America is a continent. Don't quote me on that. So yeah, um, I'm not good with geography. But yeah, that would be like the 10 strongest people out of the whole continent. And it's just ridiculous. And also, Phantom Lord's Guildmaster, who is Jose, which is spelled like Jose, and um, Seagrain is also another uh, Phantom, not Phantom Lord, is another 10 Wizard Saint. Another member of the 10 Wizard Saints. So that is pretty prestigious of those three. Not only do they mention the 10 Wizard Saints and what Makarov is to them, along with Jose and Seagrain, but also they mention the strongest, you know, wizards of the Phantom Lord Guild, who is the Phantom, not the Phantom, the Elemental Four, which is like pretty much the equivalent of the S-Class wizards, so like Urza, um, Loxus, and Mystigan, but they have the Elemental Four, which is, uh, well, I'll get, to that to, I'll get to that later. And their strongest wizard is Gajil, the, Bla the Blacksteel Gajil, that's his name, and then his is... He is the Iron Dragon Slayer, and I'm like, there's two Dragon Slayers, and Lucy's saying, like, I thought Nasu was the only Dragon Slayer, and apparently not. So, looks like they got a Dragon Slayer of their own. So now we get to the next morning, and we're at Magnolia Southgate Park, and Team Shadow Gear is, like, pinned to the tree, like, kind of like a crucifixion kind of thing. And there's like uh, steel cuffs on them, like on the tree, and they're, you know, knocked out or whatever. And on Levy's stomach is like the Phantom Lord um, emblem or crest, if you, if you would say. But they're like, they're pinned to the ground, or pinned to the tree, and Natsu's getting super mad about that. And then Makarov comes in a new outfit, and it's got the Ten Wizard Saint um, emblem on the back of his jacket. And he's getting super angry, and he says... This is war, and so I guess you can tell what comes ha what comes after that. They go towards the Phantom Lord Guild. So before we get to the Phantom Lord Guild, we're in the Magnolia Hospital, and Lucy is in there looking over Levy, Droy, and Jet because you know they just got ambushed by Gajio, and they got wrecked. And so she's you know like uh, reminiscing, and she gets a flashback of back when her and Levy met. And Levy's like talking about the novel, and that's when uh, Levy, not Levy, Lucy makes the promise to Levy that she'll let Levy be the first person to read the novel that she writes. So now we get to Oak Town, which is also the home of the Phantom Lord Guild, and a bunch of like historical buildings, but nobody cares about that. They only care about the Phantom Lord Guild. And like people are talking smack in the Phantom Lord Guild about how they should, you know, start wrecking some fairy tale wizards. And then, like, Fairy Tail just barges in through the front door. Oh, oh my gosh. Everything starts going to complete chaos. Like, wizards from Fairy Tail, wizards from Phantom Lord, they just start going at it. The only people not going at it are Jose, Gajiel, and the Elemental Four. But so, they, they're just sitting back. We don't know where they are yet. Gajiel is actually on top of, like, one of the rafters, just looking down at everything. Everybody's fighting. Wakaba, Makau, Laki, uh, Urza, Natsu, uh, Grey, everybody. Makarov is fighting. Oh my gosh. It is just going nuts. Um, the cowboy guy, I forgot his name. Biska is fighting. They, oh my gosh. I, uh, there'll probably be a video playing right now of the fight. Hopefully there is. If there is, I'm sorry. But it was. Ju it's just an amazing, amazing fight. It's... <laughs> I love seeing that, like with uh, shows or movies, when like two opposing forces meet and then they just go at it because it's just so cool to watch. So so cool to watch. So now we go back to Magnolia, and Lucy is walking back to the hospital from like the grocery store or whatever, carrying a bag of grocery, and then it starts raining on her, and then she sees this lady, and she's like, drip, drip, drop. Juvia is here or whatever like Juvia controls the rain. She says something so corny It made me legit spit and <laughs> like when I was watching it. I was just spitting and laughing cuz So now we get mentioned to Juvia and Juvia is one of the elemental four of the Phantom Lord Guild and so she's talking with Lucy and she's kind of a uh, very monotone very pale very You know bland very yeah very bland pretty much and we get introduced to another 
Phantom Lord Guild member, and he's also part of the um, Elemental Four, and his name is Soul, and he just comes from the ground, some French guy. He, his accent's very, very deep, so it's kind of hard to understand him sometimes. For me, it is. But they talk to Lucy, and they're talking to each other about, you know, Lucy's our target, so we have to get Lucy and bring her back to the guild. And so Juvia traps Lucy inside of, like, a, uh, what is it called, water lock, which is like a watery ball, and Lucy drops her keys, so her keys are on the, ga on the, on the ground, and they just pretty much take her captive. So back at the Phantom Lord Guild, the fight is still going on between, you know, Phantom Lord and Fairy Tail. And Makarov is saying, Urza, you take care of everybody else. I gotta go find Jose. And so Makarov goes, like, through some doors. He blows them up first. And then he goes to find Jose. And Gaggio, who is on the rafters looking down at Makarov, is saying, Okay, now that their puny little master's gone, now I can, you know, do some damage. And so now is Gaggio's time to shine. And that's pretty much the end of the episode. So that does it for today's episode of The Fairy Tale Review. Alrighty, guys, you already know I don't like to end off these episodes without a question of the day. So today's question for the day is... Uh, we got introduced to two of the Elemental Four of the Phantom Lord Guild. If you were part of the Phantom Lord Elemental Four, which element would you want to control? And for me, I would definitely want to control water because water is like legit. Water is my favorite type in Pokemon. Water is just awesome. And I'd love, well, except for the raining part, I wouldn't want it to rain everywhere I go. And I definitely wouldn't be as bland and as funky as <laughs> Juvia is. But I would definitely, 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 definitely want to control water. I mean, come on now. Who wouldn't want to control water? But let me know down in the comments below which element would you control if you were part of the Phantom Lords Elemental 4. And that about does it for today's episode. So, as always, guys, keep it cool.